we're looking for a place to park Rocky so we can spend the night out in the, uh, the wild lands. We're here in Sedona, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. Sedona, Arizona. I want to take a couple of hikes and we'll check out Rocky and see if this works. Good morning, Edel Campers. Morning. Welcome back. Fred found us a really cool dispersed camping area for Rocky's maiden voyage to dispersed camping, to any camping, her first night out. Amazingly busy out here with all these little dune buggy things just zipping all over the place. Luckily, no one hit us. But it's a really nice place. It's near Sedona, so if you'd like to hike, it's in Canoca, uh, Co Coconino National Forest. It's dispersed camping and we can put the pin in the description below if you happen to want to come out here to disperse camp and hike Sedona, Arizona. Sounds like fun. And I'll show you around um, our little campsite here in a minute. Wish I could stay a little bit longer. So this is probably not exactly how we would park Rocky, but it was dark when we came in and we just had to do the best we could. <laughs> but definitely would change our parking situation, I think. Don't you, Fred? Uh, I think, uh... Put some Legos, some more Legos down. Oh, yeah. About 3%. There are the leveling blocks we use, but we think we should have went a little bit higher. Right, Fred? Yeah, the, uh, the truck has a little uh, leveler belt belt in, in four-wheel mode. It shows us 3% off from the driver's side, 1% uh, high in the nose. And when we originally pulled in, we had 5%. So we, we straightened her up quite a bit. It got really windy last night. <laughs> But I'm telling you, it was amazing in there. It wasn't really bad for a really windy. Yeah, I expected more flapping. And uh, nothing. No, it was very nice. Uh, you heard the wind like you would in any other camper, but the uh, flaps didn't flap. She was rocking a little bit. She was rocking. So there's our Rocky. She is broken in. The... But she's not broken. Not yet. No. No. Not done. No. Tech with yet. We're broke. So this is our land that we're on, our campsite. We got a fire ring. We do. Cactus. And cool cactus. So we could park here for a couple of days and just hike around. We could, we could. This is a big cactus back there. Not the fancy ones you like. Well, they're pretty though. And look at our next door neighbor's way, way down there. Oh, I don't know man. if you can be able to see neighbor. that. <laughs> Oh, they didn't wave back. Huh. I definitely do like being out here. Fred said he would never take Bullwinkle out here. That's why we had to get Rocky. It's true. Although I'm sure there's people who bring, bring their big uh, diesel pushers out here. Oh yeah, I've seen some. Fred, not so much. <laughs> no. Because he wouldn't bring Bullwinkle out here, he got me a Rocky. Because this is what I really love to do. And check out those mountains. And our other neighbor. So just bring it down part of the way. It's electric. So you just push a button, but then when you brought it down most of the way, you have to just tuck the ends in and then finish bringing it down. So watch how hard it is. Fred's working really hard Ooh, bringing that awning work. down. Yeah. We got the fan turned on inside. So don't, you may have to raise it. Yeah. We're lopsided. Remember I told you it could. We are taking a trail to Devil's Bridge and to Chuck Wagon Trail. Beware on this um, hike. There are hikers, bikers, equestrians, and live animals here for you. For you. Um, stay on the trail and be prepared for your hike. They do have parking here, but it um, fills up pretty fast and you can park on the side of the road. So um, let's take off and see. Devil's Bridge. It's a pretty easy trail, very well marked. You can see where people have been in and out. It's about, I think they say two miles in, possibly two miles out, depending on which route you take. We have helicopters. 
what they're looking for. It is very well marked here. You can see they also have a map. You can go left or right to get to Chugwacken, but you need to go toward your left to get to Devil's Bridge. It's just beautiful. There are dogs allowed on this trail. So I know a lot of places um, don't allow dogs, but Devil's Bridge um, in Sedona, Arizona does allow dogs on the trail. Just beautiful. A little bit of an elevation, but not too much. Whenever I think it can't get any prettier, we find a different location that just has its own beauty. And here I thought I was going to be just a beach girl. Another clue to follow the trail. I'm going up the little bed. So this is like our third directional sign. So real easy trail, can't get lost. We just climbed up that little piece, not too bad. love this right here. It looks like you could pretty much stair step if you were a giant in Gulliver's Travels and climb all the way to the top one step at a time. So many different types of vegetation. We have evergreen trees and cactus, red rocks, deciduous bushes. You definitely cannot get lost here. <laughs> it's one of the easiest trails I have taken in a very long time. I did get a late start today. Breaking in rocky just take a little while. I have a lot to do and get it ready. It's so nice to know that I can show some of you places to go and things that you may have not seen or places you may want to go, or even places you can comment below to tell me uh, that you've been there and what else I should go looking for. So if you have a four wheel, you can come all the way down here and then you only have to hike about a mile or you can take the path that we just had taken and uh, it's much more prettier. There's no dust. And as the gentleman said, we're not in the way of the four-wheelers. We come out, cross the road, and we head on about another mile to Devil's Bridge. So there's a little place here that you can park your four-wheeler and um, hike the rest of the trail. Of course, I chose to hike the whole trail. This is a very well-traveled trail, so uh, <laughs> you're never alone on this one. steps to step up, not too bad. Check out the beginning of the sun setting behind the rocks. It was pretty warm when I started this hike. I already started to chill off now that the sun's going down. See Fred, for some reason rock stacking is a thing. Pile of rocks and there are two stacked up 
beside them. The higher you go, the windier it gets. Oh no, a tree. Good thing we can go around it or under it because I'm not very elegant crossing over them. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, we will link that episode um, above. It sure is beautiful this way, but that's not the way we're going. Trail marker says more rocks to climb. So away we go. I'm standing on top of the world and I'm so glad you guys are here with me. I'm not sure if it looks very red to you but it looks red to me and I feel like I'm on planet Mars with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hopefully you can see that moon. And just in case, they're gonna make sure you know which way to go. Onward and upward. Made it. Made it to the bridge. It's beautiful. Walking across the bridge, it's really not as narrow as it looks. Super fun. I have to say, um, one of the most rewarding hikes that I've taken in a long time. I want to thank you for taking this hike with me and sharing this beautiful scene. We made it to Devil's Bridge, and um, I'm definitely going to put the camera away. You saw the rocks we scrambled up. I'm pretty good at scrambling up but I need both hands to scramble down. So um, I hope you enjoyed this hike to Devil's Bridge in Sedona, Arizona.